Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a script which will dynamically generate an option select structure, also known as like a drop down menu. So this thing right here was created dynamically. It is based on a table, right? So that I've got this table in the background called hitters. It's got a thousand rows in it. And let's say I wanted to create a option select based on the teams. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that with a little bit of SQL and a little bit of PHP. This is very useful because it helps, like if you're letting people enter data into your table manually, it helps to pre-populate the fields for them. So this is pretty good, uh, useful skill. So let's look at the process for getting this done. So I've got a little bit of a starter here. Um, so the root query is this right here. So select distinct team from hitters. So it's, it's kind of like a general select. So my, hitter, my table name is hitters. The field that I'm looking at is team. And that word distinct means like if you see the word ATL, just grab one of them instead of 40 of them, which is probably what's in there. So that's the SQL, pretty easy. This is just a query to a database. And so now we're going to look at how we can use that to create that option select structure. Uh, I debated having the pre-made done example, but I decided that I would just write it on the fly. Maybe you can, so you can better understand what goes into this. So I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to call it uh, opt, or whatever I want to call it. And so what I'm going to do here, kind of similar to the way that we create tables, I'm going to set that to the opening uh, select tag. So just opening select tag, and if you want to make a select which is going to be useful, it needs a name. And I'm going to name this thing uh, team. This is, I, I don't know what you want to call it, but to understand that this thing is going to be submitted and on the back end it's going to need a name. So that's like my opening select tag. Now the other thing I like to do is how about I go to the end and I'm going to do something similar. Instead of equals, I'm going to do dot equals because it's concatenate. So I started by opening the select tag. I'm going to close the select tag. Um, sort of like that. So at this point I've got my select open, I've got my close, and now I just have to put in all of the options, right? That's the interesting part. So to do this, I'm going to use a while, and you've seen me use this technique before. I'm going to create a variable called row, and I'm going to set that equal to the result of a function call. So my SQLI uh, fetch ASOC, and fetch ASOC, that wants the result. Right, so that corresponds to that thing right there. And so that little line that I've written, and I've written it a bunch of times, this is just how you pick through the results of this query one at a time. And then so for each time through the loop, what I want to do is I want to concatenate something into the middle. So I'll say opt dot equals. And what I want to put in here is a set of option tags. So there's an option. There's my closing option. And that, that's kind of the root of what's happening here. So they need values. So the value is equal to something. And then the part between the tags is what's going to show up on the buttons. So what I need to do here is I'm going to say row. And the thing I, the field I want is team. Um, so notice I just indexed into an array right there. You're not allowed to index into an array like that. But if you wrap it in curly braces, then you are allowed to index into it. And so I also, for the value here, I need to do kind of the same thing. So I'm going to do it backwards just so you can kind of see the process. So I'm going to do curly braces first. And then inside, I'm going to say dollar sign row. Name of the field is team. And if you're wondering, like, why is that all caps? Well, I don't know if you remember what the underlying table looked like. But in the underlying table, that field that I'm picking out is called team. And so, and so this right here is going to open up a select tag. I'm going to close the select tag. And then for every iteration through the loop, it's going to put in a, the relevant option. And so that's pretty easy to make a syntax error on. So I'm not sure how that worked. I'll debug it if I have to. Um, so in theory, though, that's a valid option select. Now I'm going to go spit it out down here in the body. So I'm going to open a PHP tag. I'm going to close a PHP tag. And I'm just going to quite simply echo out that thing which is called opt I'm going to save and uh, let's test it out and see if it works I'm gonna refresh that's my old one and there's that thing that we just created so if I right click and I view the page source 
you can see, well, you can kind of see, this is one of the problems with dynamically creating things, uh, right, through repetition, is you get this horrendous, hard to read text. It looks fine to me. It lo that looks valid. You, sh you should always validate, but I'm not going to validate when we only have a couple minutes here. So what I wanted to show you how to do to make this more readable is what we should do is every time you put an opt in there, or an option, why don't you put a forward slash n on it, which is a, a new line. And so what that does is if you, it, a it does absolutely nothing on the front end, right, same list. But if you view the page source, now you can actually have some chance at debugging it. And that looks like relatively, it looks valid to me. You notice maybe you could use a new line there, but I'm not too worried about it. Let me show you one more thing, which I thought might make this uh, make a little bit more sense. Like, let's say you wanted that list of fields or the, the option select structure to be in a different order, right? Like maybe you wanted it to be uh, ascending or descending. So what you could do is just alter that query a little bit. So if I did like order by team uh, ascending, so that, that'll make it from A to Z. Just showing you, I don't like. I don't think this is an important part of the video, but it might help you to understand the role that the underlying query plays in things. So as this thing stands, it's all out of order. If I refresh, you'll notice that now it's in order, because usually these things are in order. So I thought it was a good idea to show that to you, just so you can better understand where, how this whole thing fits into the an example. So that's a pretty cool trick to dynamically create a big old option select when you've got a bunch of various values in the field of a table. And so it helps to ensure consistency uh, when people are entering data. So when you give them a pre-selected set of options, that helps to create consistency. And it also just saves you work, right? The alternative would be I would have had to manually put in 30 options, and that doesn't sound like fun to me. So hopefully you learned a useful new trick today. Thanks for watching.